Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've had a little bit of a move around in my lounge. I've moved the sofa over here. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Probably gonna move it back, but let's go into this video. It's a little bit off kilter for beauty week. A little bit, I admit, it's a piercing update video of my ear piercings. If you haven't seen my previous one, definitely go check it out. I'm probably gonna go into more detail about what the piercings were like, which ones were painful. It was definitely way more in depth than what this is gonna be. This is just a little bit of an update. I put the link to that below. When I asked on Instagram what people wanted to see for Beauty Week, people were like, not really beauty, but can we have a piercings update? So here we are. So I have got quite a few piercings. Please, please forgive the fact that my sideburns are really bad right now. I have been having, I had been having laser on them and now, cause like you have to shave for your laser appointment and obviously like I haven't been going to have laser because the salons have been shut for like three to four months. Yeah, um, we've got this little little boyish sideburn going on. So let's see, let's hold that up. Oh, I can't even hold it the other way. All right, let's just pretend it's not there. Fine, it is, it is what it is. Um, I can't stop looking at it. Oh my God. There we go. Should we hide it? Oh no, let's not do that either. Okay, cool. Anyway, on this ear, I have got my tragus, my conch, my helix, and then one, two, three, four lobes. So there we go, that was a little bit of a closer look. So that's seven, great maths. And then in ear number two, we've got my Ford Helix or Front Helix. We've got a Tash Rook. We've got a Conch again. And then we've got three low piercings. I think that's it. Yeah, so we've got a three, a three, a six. So six, a seven is 13. 13 ear piercings all together. From my last video, I changed things up a little bit. So I do believe I used to have my dath pierced. So the dath is that chunky little bit of cartilage in there and I had a ring there. I decided to take that out and then get my conch done again, simply because the conch is my favorite piercing. If I was only to have one cartilage piercing, that would be it just because the way that these pieces of jewelry sit in your ear right there, I just always find so eye-catching. I always want that moon to sit the other way, but it doesn't really like to. Come on, my friend. Uh. All my earrings are Maria Tash, and they got pierced at Maria Tash, apart from these gold hoops here, because I like to have quite big chunky hoops at the minute, just because they, they stand out and make more of a statement than, say, just another little like ring or another stud. So it's nice to change things up a little bit. People ask me a lot, what's my favorite piercing? And like I've said already, it is the conch. In terms of the pain for that one, it's probably one of the most painful ear piercings that I've had. The conch, the tash rook, and the forward helix were the most painful. I'd say that the conch healed the best by far. That's why I've got it done on both sides, because it healed really, really well. It didn't go all like sore and swollen and didn't get infected or anything like that. Whereas my tash rook and my forward helix, they didn't get infected, like they didn't go green, but they were still weeping like white stuff so it's not like a full infection but it was not happy and that took they took months to heal like they took around nine months whereas this the conch so i've had that in for about nine months now and it's still like i'm really sorry if like it's crispy now like it's it's hard to get that crispy bit out like i know it sounds really disgusting because it's, it's actually quite fun to do that like i know i'm gross some people here watching this will be like, I know what you mean. Other people will be like, oh my God, you're so vile. Because it's gross when other people talk about it. Like, I get it, but when it's on yourself, you don't necessarily mind it. So it's like, I like popping spots on myself and like on my friend or a boyfriend, but I'd never watch a video of it because it's just like, Egh. wow, what a tangent. Um, anyway, back to the piercing. So yeah, sorry if it was a little bit crispy. I have found that that one, it's not that it hasn't healed well. It's just that like, it keeps getting a little bit crispy. So gross. It just keeps getting a little bit crispy and then like that will wash off or I'll clean it off and then it just goes a little bit crispy again So it's kind of good. It's ideal not to actually pick it off as tempting as it can be because that actually Like acts as a bit like a buffer and kind of protects the hole a little bit more So it's not completely fully healed, but it didn't cause me any problems I just couldn't sleep on it for a quite a little while top tip for sleeping on piercings new piercings get a travel pillow put your head 
like your ear in between the middle of the travel pillow and then you can kind of sleep like normal it's not like the most comfortable but it's if you really like sleeping on a certain side it definitely definitely helps and then it doesn't like smush your piercing or cause it pain or make it heal like at an angle so why i took the day piercing out i really like the look of it but for me everyone's ear anatomy is different so some people might be fine with this but i only like to wear those earphones the ones that go right inside of your ear they're the only kind of earphones that i like and like i want ones that are noise cancelling and things like that so i could no longer wear them anymore so the way that it fit and um, the day fit me when i put the earphones in it moved it so even though the day had healed really really well it pushed it into a really uncomfortable place and made it really sore and then it started to keep going a bit like swollen and a little bit like red and inflamed and I, it was just not worth it and then when i wore regular earphones like the ones that you get with your iphone that just sort of like sit within that like ear cavity there and like rest along there it wouldn't stay in it would like this day piercing just took up, up too much room and it would knock them out so i couldn't wear them so the only earphones i could wear were the ones that go over your head headphones and they make my head and my ears really sweaty and also they're not very handbag friendly so yeah i was just like no and also i just love love the conch on this side that i really wanted to mirror it on this side i'm even tempted to get a secondary conch piercing in here and have like a double conch but we'll figure it out so yeah anyway sorry if i rambled a little bit much i hope that was helpful in some form of way it was a requested video sorry if my ears look a bit grubby and dirty like it's like piercings do get like oh and they do get a build up of stuff so you have to like try and clean them regularly but i also try and leave mine as much as I can because I find that leaving them just helps them to heal better instead of touching them and doing a lot of stuff to them so I try and just let them leave them be and just wash them with water when I do have issues with the piercing I haven't had an issue and how to do this in a long time crushed aspirin crushed dispersible aspirin tablets with a little bit of water put it in a paste put it on your piercing sleep with it like that every night until it's kind of calmed down and that helps like salt water doesn't help for me it just actually aggravates my skin more chamomile compress also doesn't really do enough for me that aspirin thing is a game changer so that would be my little bit of advice so yeah anyway there we go that is my piercing update i hope you enjoyed it and i'll be back with a actual beauty proper beauty video tomorrow <laughs> bye guys Waste of your breath, huh?